of Worlds Radioactive Podcast. It's your host, Ace Boogie, and we have a special guest with us today. My guest, please introduce yourselves. I am Lynn Kenny Smith. I go by Lynn. Yeah. You can't hear? Can y'all share? Is that possible? Yeah, we share everything. <laughs> <laughs> testing, testing. Can you hear me? And I go by uh, Daryl Smith. My name is Lynn Tinia Smith. How's that sound? Cool. There you go. Share, please. We got to get these shares on. Shares going on. Likes. Oh, comments, guys. If you have any comments for them, please go ahead and leave them. Leave them in the comment section. So I'm going to go ahead and give a shout out to our sponsors. Um, definitely want to give a shout out to Mr. Randall Cliff of Madhouse Customs. Also, uh, Past That Apparel. You can catch them on Past That Apparel on Facebook. Past That Apparel. Two on Instagram. They're also located off of 2406 East Houston Street. So you guys go check them, them guys out. They want to have you looking fly. So back to my guest. How are you guys doing? We're great. We're great. We're good. Okay. So, I mean, what y'all do today? What, what happened today? Today was rest day. We try to at least rest on the weekends, mm -hmm. at least, but we went to church. Mm -hmm. Um, she him. went to church. I yeah, to I went to church. Okay. He didn't make it to church, but to he had to get had. some inventory. Okay, so y'all do agree on church. Oh, oh yeah. Okay, yeah. cool, 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 cool. Yeah, so we went to church, and a friend invited us over for Sunday dinner, and that's mm -hmm. where we've been all day, pretty much. Mm, so was the food good? It was good. They had lasagna. Yeah. Ooh, lasagna. <laughs> yeah, was cheesy. It was cheesy. Oh, it was oh. cheesy. <laughs> we, got, we got the leftovers in the car. Yeah. Okay, okay. We may have to. We may, yeah, it may be an issue later on. <laughs> so, please tell me about you guys' business endeavors. So, I know you have cleaning, correct? Yes, I have a cleaning service. I do residential cleaning, mm -hmm. and um, I launched that in March of mm -hmm. last year. So, we're a um, little over like 10 months right now. So, yep. Just fairly new. Mm -hmm. okay. And I am the other half of Wing It, um, co owner of Wing It as well as um, we have a new venture, Sip It. It's coming soon. Uh, me and my partner, Bernardo Baxter, um, that we have at two locations right now in the food truck mm -hmm. as well. Um, and then a third location in Cibolo coming this summer. So look out for that. Man, doing big yeah. things. So with, with all these several businesses, how do you guys balance all that business and the relationship? It's hard. Um, we're actually we're still learning um, what we started this year. One of our goals was to kind of um, pretty much focus on ourselves. Like, you mm -hmm. know, um, I actually saw this on social media where um, we actually take the time out a couple of days out the month or so and just kind of refocus on ourselves. Like, you know, when we go somewhere together, I have date night, get away from the kids. We're really not resting. Mm -hmm. So now we have that point where we like actually go in our, go by ourselves somewhere. Like last night, actually I went um, and I was somewhere by myself, no kids, mm -hmm. no spouse, none of that. And it was just me. And I was able to kind of recharge myself and regroup. And tonight is his night, so. Okay. okay. <laughs> so I'm about to postpone my night. But <laughs> I need a full night. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you kind of have half a night. <laughs> so, what made you get into cleaning? Cleaning. And why cleaning? Uh, honestly, I was working at a credit union, mm -hmm. and um, I was. It was mostly like nine to five, of course, and I just, I wasn't happy, mm -hmm. and I was. Um, communicating with my friend there and I was like hey I was like we need a side hustle this is not gonna get it and she was like I agree and so um I ended up stepping away from the desk I came back I was like hey what if we start a cleaning service and she was like yeah let's go for it and so I guess she thought I was playing but I was mm -hmm. serious mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> and so I went for it um I talked it over with Daryl of course mm -hmm. and Daryl he um he was like any idea you have, he's like, go for it. And he was like, I support you, whatever. So I'm like, okay. And so we were at home playing around and I was like, well, what about cleaning? I was like, look to see if it's available. It was available and every from there, from that point on, it kind of just fell in our laps. Pieces just started to come together and went from there. How important is having the support of your spouse and being a business? It's very important, especially in the beginning, um, because, you know, um, 
in the beginning, especially when it comes to having finances and situations like that, like he's been really supportive from day one and he kind of know what to expect due to the fact that he's been there. So I'm starting from scratch. So he knows what it feels like to be able to start and, you know, the support that's needed. So it definitely has brung our marriage a lot closer for sure. Okay. So you do uh, residential? I do residential. What about uh, businesses? I have not gotten into business. Honestly, I don't think I would get into business. Um, I feel like everybody that starts a cleaning company, although it is a good, it's good money out there for Mm -hmm. businesses. um, I feel like it leaves the market open for residential. So I'm, I'm like, okay, while everybody's going to chase the businesses, let Mm -hmm. me chase the residential and Mm -hmm. put my little tad bit of you know, touch on there. And honestly, business has been picked up tremendously. We're actually in process like three houses a day. Like it's getting really busy. Have you came across a house where you walked in, you were like, WTF? I have. (laughs) Really? I have. How did did you handle that? It was only one. Honestly, it wasn't bad. Mm -hmm. Um, Well, it was bad. I'm not going to say it wasn't bad. It was bad, but Honestly, I felt good at the same time because mm-hmm. the transformation that that house gotten, I was like, oh my God, I did that. <laughs> so um, have you ever had a time where you went to a, I guess you were going to clean the house and the owner just made you feel like the help? You know what I'm saying? Honestly, no, I just had this conversation with my friend. She's like, have you ever felt like they treat you like a maid or something? Mm-hmm. And I'm like, no, I honestly go in. Um, I did one I was at a, a individual's house and um, he was, he asked me, he was like, so what are you, the maid or something for this company? I said, no, I'm the owner. And he was like, yo, that's dope. Like, that's, <laughs> <laughs> but you know, like, no, they treat me equally. And honestly, they want the support. I get a lot of support from, especially our culture. Mm-hmm. Like they love the fact that it's black owned and mm-hmm. they are definitely reaching out. So I think, the whole San Antonio area for all the support they've given me so far. Do you have a staff or is it just you? So I do have a staff right now. Um, well, it's it's hard to keep them, I can say. Hmm. But I do it's have... Hiring. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and now hiring. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I, it's something I can handle, but with it picking up, I am trying to slowly, gradually step away. But I have fully trained someone now and she's she's really good. You Shout said, out, girl. You know who you are. <laughs> you said it's hard to keep them. Why? Why is it hard to keep them? Um, this generation, they don't. They me. This generation, they don't want to work. Mm-hmm. And you would think that, um, up in their pay and the salary and things like that would keep them, but mm-hmm. they don't. It's just the mindset of millennials. Like they don't want to put in the work these days. They. Mm-hmm. It's hard, <laughs> without honesty. But there are some good workers out there. I just, you gotta find them. I gotta find them. <laughs> Where are you? <laughs> so when it comes to these chemicals that you use, are they, uh, what type of chemicals are you using? Are they, uh, um, I can't tell you. Mm-hmm. I kind of make them myself. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but are they like, uh, <laughs> I don't want to say kid friendly, but you know what I'm they are kid friendly. They're not strong chemicals. Um, more like an eco friendly type thing that mm-hmm. I'm doing. Mm-hmm. But yes, I kind of create them myself. So is there something that you wouldn't clean, like? For instance, uh, oh, crime investigation, crime scene cleanup. Now that I wouldn't do. I actually follow this per, um, this group on social media, and they mm-hmm. do um, criminal cleaning, and they they leave nothing out. So if I was mm-hmm. to ever go in a situation like that, I would definitely have to walk away. Yeah, I, I, I don't have, have the stomach, stomach for, for that. <laughs> I don't got to for you. Like, I couldn't do it. Yeah. Clean up blood and, and then they get details in the description, like this body been here for this amount of days. Ooh, yes, it's ma'am. mag. Yeah, it's it's serious. Oh, no. You about to say maggots? Yeah, no, I, I can't, can't do that. Yep, that, that's it for me. Dead mice, dead cats, all of that. Like they have to clean up. Like they. Do yeah. they get I'm pretty sure they do. Mm-hmm. I hope so. I'm pretty sure they do with something like that. Okay, mm-hmm. sir. So. Tell me a little bit about about Winget. Uh, so so Winget. Um, originally we we've been open like five years now. Um, we have like I said two locations. Uh, originally we started um from a food truck. So mm-hmm. a lot of people didn't know that you know we were two different companies that came together as one. 
Mm -hmm. um, originally, I started um, a class project. I went to TSU. Shout out to all my Tigers. Okay. Uh, in Houston, um, Texas Southern, not Texas State. Um, hey, don't talk down I, about Texas State. I, it's all love. It's all love. But it, you know, it's something about being a Tiger. Um, so, long story short, I, I have my bachelor's in, in business marketing. Okay. Um, and while I was in school, um, we had an entrepreneurship class, and we had a class project of doing a, a business and got an A in that class, and it was a group project. Long story short, uh, I did it. It was kind of like, you know, I was like, I got all this information, like, why not, you know, mm -hmm. pursue it? You know, I had a blueprint and, and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, so I went on, did my due diligence, man. I went on uh, Craigslist, found an old taco truck. So, like, pupusas, and uh, I was... I don't even know. I think it's like a certain <laughs> kind of taco, but I mean, this is like a, a genuine taco truck. Like he had pictures of tacos all on the side of it. White truck. Boy. Um, you still got the truck? I'm, I'm, I'm getting to that. I'm getting to that. <laughs> so, so, so anyway, so I, I got the truck. I, I talked to the guy, man. I was so consistent with the guy. I was like, man, I, I don't have the money to give you all this money you want, but I can make payments. Mm -hmm. And, and you know, he said, okay, uh, we agreed to that. Um, I got the food truck. And then the first thing I mean, I hit back, I, hit, I went straight to the yard. I mean, you know, this black guy driving a taco truck. Mm -hmm. I pull up like, hey, they like, oh, Choco. You did it. man, it was like, hey, you did it. I said, yeah. And then, um, so I ended up, you know, getting it painted. I'm a, I'm a capper too, so I had to paint it red. Oh, uh, snap! Uh, got my name. It was called Wing Express, and uh, we just started. I started sl slanging wings, man. I used to go to the parties, to the Bar. nightclubs, bars, man. I used to see the sun come up. Strip club. I ain't gonna lie. Mm -hmm. Uh, getting them ones, they count too. <laughs> uh, so I did that for a while, and and I had partners. Um, actually, her her cousin, big shout out to him, man, because he was more the the the, finan the the chef. I was more of the like hood chef. I was cooking, you know, at the house and stuff like that. But I really didn't know, you know, the recipes and stuff like that. So I was just more of the visionary. Um, so he uh, you know, we would come up with stuff. We partnered up for a little bit. Um, and then like I said, we we went on trial and error. Um. Mm -hmm. So fast forward a little bit. So we end up um, going our separate ways. I mean, I realized it was hard, you know, partnerships and stuff like that. And mm -hmm. I'm from San Antonio. So, you know, being away from home, it's like, you know, you don't have the same support system as you do it as you you do at home. So I was like, you know what? I need I need some discipline. So I went to the military. So uh, I did reserve. I went uh, Air Force, which would brought me back to Lackland. Mm -hmm. um, and I was like, you know what? Let me let me go in, get my mind straight. Uh, let me re up. Cause I like save my money um, and stuff like that. So I did that. When I came back, um, my best friend introduced me to my partner, who wanted to do a truck as well. He wanted to do the same kind of concept. I think he wanted a franchise or something like that. But I didn't know nothing about that. And mm -hmm. I, I really didn't want no partner after you know the situations mm -hmm. I had before. Um, so I was like, I help you find. I help you find a truck. He hit me up. We had a meeting. He was like, Man, I got this. I'm looking at this truck. Can you make sure you know it's A1, X, Y, and Z? So you know, we end up. Finding the truck for him, he picked it out, and he went his he went his, his separate way. You know, I went I went to, to tech school and stuff like that. And um, it's a long story. Like I said, we end up like I said, we went our separate ways. Uh, he started Countdown Wings, which he did uh, by the block by UTSA. Mm -hmm. So by that time, you know, I'm I'm in tech school and stuff like that. But he's getting his name out at the block and stuff mm -hmm. like that. So I come back. I, I, I was like, okay, I see. I followed him. I hit him up. I went over there, checked it out. See, see he got lines. I'm like, man, got a little jealous. I'm like, what, 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 what he been doing? Like, what he been doing? All right. Mm -hmm. So, um, so I was curious. I was like, I wonder what my truck could do. Mm -hmm. He by UTSA, man. So I brought it to the Northeast. Mm -hmm. I sent for my truck. Um, cause my whole mindset was like, you know what? I'm gonna come out of tech school, re up, and reinvest in my truck, and then I'm going back to Houston. Right. You know, a lot of people are like, you know, they see Houston as like, you know, the, the goat. You know. Our people, our culture is doing, is thriving in Houston. You know, San Antonio is like wide open, right? Mm -hmm. So, you know, my mind kind of switched a little bit. So I sent for my truck. Um, I set up on on Northeast side, 78. Uh, set up on over there, I think about CVS or whatever. And, and it's about Chick-fil-A and started selling wings, you know, just to see if I still had it, you know. Mm -hmm. So I got, got my stuff together, my permits, all that updated. Mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, I still got it. Um, by that, around that time, uh, I had reached out to him again. I think he was in the, I don't know, I think he was going to close down. It, it was something where we, we kind of, we stumbled upon a Kirby spot. Mm -hmm. I found it in Kirby and I was like, hey, I reached out to him. I said, hey, what you think about collabing? Let's let's do something. So we had another business meeting. Um, I remember we was at my mama house and we were just kind of going over stuff. And, and I was like, man, what about with this? Wing it, wing it, you know, and stuff like that. 
He was like, yeah. So we took the best parts of each truck. Mm-hmm. You know, he had like a pineapple mango. I'm like, oh, what is that? So I was like, you know, I got a pineapple lemonade. So mm-hmm. I'm like, yeah, it, it worked great. So we took the best parts of each truck and came up with Wing It. Mm-hmm. So, um, so it's been five years now, about a year and a half after um, opening Wing It. My wife was uh, working at Alorca at the time on, on, on Pat Booker, and mm-hmm. she had mentioned that it was a barbecue spot going out of business. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, all right, cool, we're gonna check it, it out. It was already out. It was already out of business? Yeah. Okay, mm-hmm. so it was out of business. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so anyway, you know, shout out to her. You know, mm-hmm. she, she she put it out there. So we went over there, checked it out, mm-hmm. and and man, we, we ended up getting it, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, so my, he he necessarily runs out when I run the Kirby one. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, man, been been five years, man. We've been blessed. So is it true y'all have a peach cobbler? Is we, true? we have a peach. Well, so so this is what we do. So every every month we do something different that's not on the menu. So okay. we call it the flavor of the month. Okay. So in November, we did a peach cobbler flavor wing, right? Really? So mm-hmm. December we did like a cranberry <laughs> barbecue wing. Okay. And these wings are like exclusive. Like they're not on they, they rotate, but mm-hmm. they're not on the menu at all. So you got to get them in that month. Like I think this month is the mango habanero. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So we, we try to rotate them like around the same time, you know, and then we might throw in a, a ringer or something like that. Like like the peach cobbler was something new that we just tried this year. <laughs> right, right. So yeah, so, I seen yeah. somebody said that it was actually good. They, to they me, it good. sounded like no. This, I'm talking about peaches in there. I'm talking yeah. about peaches in there. I'm talking about yeah, yeah. I'm talking about yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna slap your mama? What's y'all's favorite thing on the menu? The favorite thing, um, man. We got a great pineapple lemonade, man. We've been doing that from the from the jump, man. That's, mm-hmm. People love that. They, they they call it cracking the glass, but um, ah. um <laughs> but 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 I, I'm a I'm an Asian persuasion kind of. Kind of guy because I like the sweet and spicy. Mm-hmm. Um, what about you, babe? What you like? Um, when I'm not winged out, I would. Well, right rare, now it's. <laughs> <laughs> I'm winged out. I can only imagine. Right now it's Cajun Ranch. Um, when I was pregnant, it was Asian persuasion. And spicy barbecue. That's my favorite one. Yeah, Cajun I Ranch, love Cajun Ranch. Barbecue, All yeah. flats. Okay. Team flats. So yeah. so why why vegan wings? So I mean. I had the idea. I was like looking, like I was like, man, you know, they got these. Every everybody has that health, that health craze that they want to, you know. I was like, I don't want to be that person that, you know. This was before the Impossible Burger, mind you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, and I was like, right, <laughs> you know. So you know, I was just looking around and just, just like I have a creative mind. I'm always thinking about stuff when I'm driving, going, to, you know, wherever I'm going in the gym. So I just, I was like, yeah. I, no, man, some. He can literally <laughs> make nothing out of something like, what about this? I'm uh, like, okay. And it's just, like I said, my thing is trial and error. It's I was like, man. Gone. And my partner like, was like, man, no, I don't think that's going to say. I was like, I'm telling you, man, you can get, we're going to get, man. So now, He's fast genius, forward, though. fast forward, bro, if we out of it, people get mad. The mm-hmm. ve- the vegan community are real. Like I said, man, when, when the word got out, man, mm-hmm. I'm telling you. So we got them vegan wings. You get a traditional, boneless, or vegan. Mm-hmm. And that vegan, hey, we got to keep it on stock. Any mm-hmm. yes, we we have now we have like certain flavors that are you know preferably vegan, but you can get any flavor on the thing. So is his smell permanently wings? Like I, cause I knew a trash when trash man come on, he smell like trash. I know people who work at oh, McDonald's, yeah. they smell like McDonald's. Yeah, does he, does he permanently smell like wings? Yeah, he does. <laughs> that's his that's his new fragrance. Yeah, <laughs> that, that wing that's a chicken wing. <laughs> yeah, all in the beard. Mm. So I seen you make a post saying that you wanted to help other businesses out this year. Like that's one of the yeah. Your thing. So, so yeah. So tell me about that. How you plan on doing that? So I mean, me, I think I think that's more of my 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 purpose. Um, I mean, I I truly I truly get like like excited when when other people like want to start their business, and I'm like, mm-hmm. man, you could do this better. Mm-hmm. You could do that better. You know, I don't always like to think about this my business, but I, I see visions that you know people that might not even see the potential in themselves. So. You know, I told myself this year I'm gonna I'm gonna start my little consulting thing, which I, I'm starting starting to do. I actually picked up like four clients in like in a month. Um, but like just actually like getting people like, hey man, you don't got your DBA, we need to get that. You don't got your LLC, we can get that. You know, stuff mm-hmm. like that. Cause like I said, a lot of people don't know those things. Can you explain to us what those things are? Um, like like I said, first thing in business, like you want to make sure um you separate. You you're not a, just a sole proprietor. You know, you don't want to be. You know, that's kind of that's kind of like saying like you know you you got the the company but if somebody god, god forbid somebody sue you you know they're coming after your home they're coming after your assets mm-hmm. 
-hmm. But when you protect it under an umbrella like LLC, mm -hmm. yeah, which is a lot a limited liability corporation, you're you're actually can you know protect it under that umbrella. So they're not coming for your assets and all the other stuff. They come in for everything that's under that s specific LLC. Um, so like like just just in it, you know, educating you know our people on, or or any people on you know just the the, the, the purpose of getting your, your business straight. Mm -hmm. at the end of the day because a lot of people have businesses but they just out there kind of doing it they don't have no business email they don't have no business and then a lot of people don't separate their their instagram page from the personal page mm -hmm. you can have like you know kiki's donuts and then you got kiki at the club yesterday too you, know what I'm saying? <laughs> you, you gotta gotta you gotta mix the two mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying so so that, that's that's my main thing you know just kind of enlighten them people like hey you know people been doing you know business right for years mm -hmm. you know and they don't show us anything and, and i mean a lot of us are scared too a lot of us are scared to, to take that leap exactly and, and you know i always thought about I always taught myself or i always learned in, in school is like greater the risk how to reward you know mm -hmm. you, these, these some of these these multi-million dollar companies or billion dollar companies they they took a risk they took you know that leap of faith you know sometimes it's our culture that you know they don't you know our mamas might say oh, i don't you know don't do and, true story I, I didn't tell my mom that i was gonna get a food truck because mm -hmm. I, I, I kind of know, you know, what kind of reaction she would have said, oh, you, you need to worry about paying that rent. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, so I didn't even tell her. So when I got it, I already had it. I'm like, mom, I already got the truck. What you talking about? <laughs> <Can't> <laughs> so what you, what you mean? You can't tell me like it's not a bad idea. So, you know, I mean, I love my, my parents and stuff like that. But, you know, sometimes you got to just take that risk on your own and just stumble on your own, you mm -hmm. know? That's kind of like um, there's a clip on Instagram of Will Smith. Mm -hmm. and he's basically saying, kind of the same thing like if you want to really follow your dreams a lot of people think oh i gotta get my family on board i gotta get this person on board and he's like no you probably gonna have to go at it alone the majority of the time mm -hmm. you're not always gonna have that so you gotta believe in what it is you're trying to do mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. so tell me what is a uh, grow grow through grow, is it that's grow, that? grow through yeah what is that what is growth? i seen i had seen that on your page yeah, I think that's what it was called. Oh, through. is it an what? Oprah post? Or something? No, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Oprah, I seen that one. Too. Watch this man. <laughs> yeah, it was called, I think it was called Grow Through. Yes. So, um, one of my friends um, from high school actually, mm -hmm. she has this mentor group that she does in Austin, and um, she reached out to me and she asked if I wouldn't mind coming out speaking to the young ladies. And, you know, of course I couldn't say no, it's out of my comfort zone, but you know, I'm willing to take the risk and you know, what? <laughs> A lot. Um, I am so mellow as you guys can see, like somebody could be like, you want a million dollars and my response will be, oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's just me. So mm -hmm. with my business, it's having me to kind of, you know, like really get out there and speak to individuals and um, go at more networking events and doing things like this, being in front of the camera for one. So, mm -hmm. yeah. What was it like your first time having to like, initiate that conversation um it's not see that's not i feel i'm okay at that point it's kind of i read a a, a meme one time and it's it, it's kind of true a a meme. Meme, you a know meme. i cannot say that word <laughs> I, 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 I um <laughs> we go through this all the time i love it i, I love can't it. I'm country. <laughs> Even Port Arthur, right? <laughs> I'm from Port Arthur. Right, yeah. right. So, um, yeah, I came across one. It was like business uh, marketing is kind of just like flirting. So mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, let me just flirt with these people in the mm -hmm. meantime. And that's mm -hmm. kind of what I do. It, made it, it that's works. What I'm talking about. Okay. So, that's an interesting concept. Right. <laughs> it is. That's how you get sales, I'm too. You know, I, I, this is the first time I'm hearing this. Yeah. So I'm like, oh, I could good. have told that's you. how you've been getting them cut. Right? <laughs> Honestly, this is our routine. I'll mm -hmm. go in and fetch whoever, mm -hmm. and he'll come in and tag along, and then he'll pitch whatever, and then mm -hmm. it's like, bam. So it's a teamwork. Yeah, don't we do that? Yeah. So I started because they'll listen to a pretty mm -hmm. girl, and then he'll come along. Yeah, that's, that's how you do that. <laughs> He's the closer. Right, exactly. Okay. So, okay. this team, this team that see, we have built, so you guys met at a pajama party. We did. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, so, um, 
Ooh. <laughs> it's a pajama party, so I'm Ooh. like, you know, it's about the house party? House yes, party. it was oh, a house yes. party. Oh, yeah. okay, Actually, okay. I was talking to this guy, and he invited me to the pajama party. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I didn't want to go, and my friend, um, she was like, we should go. I was like, oh, I really don't want to go. It's cold outside. It was January. In 2014, no, 2010, I'm sorry. That's when we got married, 2014. So 2010. <laughs> <was> like, <laughs> I ain't correcting nothing. I'm just going to listen. <laughs> and so um, I go to the pajama party, and I see him, and he just started coming dancing up on me or whatever. Mm-hmm. I'm posted up on the wall because I'm not can, a uh, can he dance? Can he dance? <laughs> can he dance? Mm-hmm. He does this little same shimmy. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. <laughs> he thinks he can, but I guess whatever. So uh, yeah, we're we'll gonna take this by section. So you gave us how you how you uh, <laughs> found out about the party and how you you got there and so forth. Now, what how was yours? How'd you find out about this so party? So, so this is how it really happened. No, <laughs> no. Nah, so this is my ver- so basically so it was a, it was a capital party. It was a house party. Oh, um, um, party. shout out to the noobs, TSU. Mm-hmm. We always had the best parties. Um, so, <laughs> that, that particular night, it was not nothing so nice it was, about it. It was cool. I, I mean, nobody I, I, was there. <laughs> I don't. I don't remember that. Much. Really, I remember I mean, this very. Ain't nobody like, was there. It was, it was fun, it's you know. Like I was in that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, at that time, she was just a number. My phone. Like, uh, like, okay. Okay. So I so. mean, just being honest. You know, I'm being. <laughs> Let just, me hear your version. Okay. Yeah, so, 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 so you know, I, I'm over there. I see her. You know, I'm like, oh, okay. Let's like, try to look cute. You know, I remember going up to her. I don't remember what I said. It was probably something slick. You know. Um, and uh, and I just like I said, I, I think I was like, "Can you dance? You want to dance?" I, said, I don't know. I said, "I don't know something." But long story short, I got the number. <laughs> true, true, true story. I didn't know her name. Mm-hmm, you know how mm-hmm. you get a number, you mm-hmm. don't even know her name. So I got it. I got it. I got a number, and then What's I actually, I hit. You know what? I think it was L, or it was girl from the party, or girl on the wall. <laughs> it was something to that nature. Mm-hmm. But I had to ask my frat brother. I think who he was talking, she was talking to. I, yeah. I asked her, I was like, <laughs> okay. hey, Nuke, that's, that's you? You know, they're like, no, no, you got to know it. Whatever it was, you know, mm-hmm. but I end up, like I said, asked, hey, what's her name again? And then I said, okay, cool. So I, it was like later on, I got it, but I think I texted her that night to mm-hmm. ask to make sure she got home safe. Okay. You know. Okay. But, so oh, we, no, we got to now we got to jump back in. That last part, that's how it yeah. worked. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. He yeah. Called. What was his initial line? He was just, um, hey, just want to make sure you made it home safe or something like that. But when he first started to me, I don't, the music was so loud. I don't mm-hmm. remember him having a conversation with me. He just was trying to dance. That means your breath was fresh. That means your breath was fresh. <laughs> <laughs> so five years later, huh? Yeah. So you guys just had an anniversary. Mm-hmm. Tell me about that. Who so, planned this anniversary now? I planned this anniversary. Mm-hmm. Last year we started where we take turns planning the anniversary um Uh. well last year how it started was we specifically were like hey we're not going to give each other nothing for valentine's day so i really took that to heart (laughs) 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 i was like okay whatever Mm -hmm. well he went all out he got a billboard with our with my name and was like happy anniversary Billboard. Exactly. Hold on, hold on. What do you mean? What do you mean? Like it's a big poster? Uh, it, a billboard. A billboard. Yeah. And so he... <laughs> Yes. Look, man. I... Hey, look, look, baby. I can't follow that. I don't know. <laughs> you know since you set the tone, you don't have to each time. Dang, <laughs> billboard. But he's really good with surprises. Okay. But um he did the billboard. Um he well that morning he got me a ring. Um little well i had been without a ring for a while Mm -hmm. um after i had my son my finger got swollen so Mm -hmm. i had to go to the doctor and they had to cut the whole ring Mm -hmm. off so i was without a ring for a while so he ended up replacing that and then that night um he was saying we were going skydiving or something and i was like oh my god no that's what he was telling me or that's what you said (laughs) and i was like oh my gosh no (laughs) and so we ended up getting to the place where we ended up just pretty much going around the city in a helicopter Mm -hmm. so that was it so no skydiving thank god but yeah yeah (laughs) <laughs> so I don't mind it, do? but just tell me and you know, like you gotta give me a heads up so I can Are you prepare scared of heights? myself. Uh not so much. I wouldn't mind skydiving. Are y'all like the I cannot. 
or do you that adventurous one that just um, turns her along? We, I mean, like I said, it, it's, yeah, we're, we're building up to that. Like yeah. we, you know, we we having like kids and stuff like that. You know, we kind of lose your, you know, sponsor, you know, that that spontaneity, whatever. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, I think now we're building up to. We want to start doing mm-hmm. outrageous stuff. You know, just why not winging so it, what's, what's winging it. Uh, one thing I want to do, honestly, oh, that's a good question. I don't know. Climb Mount I Everest. Just like to, <laughs> no, I just like to travel. Like, travel. So anywhere, I guess. Okay. What's one thing you want to do other than travel? Um, I'm going to ride an elephant. Ooh, that's dope. You know what I'm saying? I'll do Africa. that. I, I do that. Go to yeah. you know Egypt or something. Like, yeah. I, you know I, I like I like that that Aladdin. You know, yeah. Like, <laughs> right on, you know, bang, what? Yeah. My, my daughter was watching that yesterday, so it was in my head. So yeah, something like that. You know. So how has the community accepted you guys, your businesses? Um, I, I think like I said, man, definitely the community's been a, a huge. Uh, advocate for us man uh kirby like like so we're not in necessarily in san antonio per se mm-hmm. we're like in a, a small mis- municipality like kirby university mm-hmm. Converse. so so mm-hmm. i mean with that i think it's been it's, it's definitely put us in be- in a better position because we've got to know like the the councilmen's and the the mayors mm. and the you know secretary like i know these people like about by, by, by one call away compared to like you know san antonio you know it might be hard to reach the mayor or something, mm-hmm. whatever it might be but you know, it, it definitely put us in a position where, like, they 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 want us to stay. They they help us thrive. Like, we apply we apply for grants in these cities. We've grown with these cities. Like, we I think our our first you know when we first was in Kirby, like one of the the mayors had his inauguration or something like over there. So we had the first like like news footage coverage over there. Um, Universal City, like I said, been has been way supportive as well. You know, we've like Mark. You know, so the same thing. You know, mm-hmm. and just like. Our, our third location coming in Cibolo, we plan on doing the same thing, you know, building those bridges. So what are, what are, um, well, how's the community? Same question. <laughs> um, I haven't gotten out to market as okay. much into doing networking, mm-hmm. but, um, I mean, I would say pretty much the same thing that he says. Um, I still have work to do. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just tagging along and whatever people he know, he just pretty much send my way. And I mean, when I was working at the bank, I would often like meet different people that come in and uh, they've given support either through clean it or wing it. So cool. So what are you guys doing for the community? Um, We, we definitely um had ideas, like I said, like, First year we did like a back to school drive mm-hmm. um, and stuff like that at Winget. Um, we definitely, as we grow, our, our, we want my plan is to actually start a, a, a nonprofit where we can, you know, highlight and do more. You know, mm-hmm. cause I, you know, I feel like we don't do enough, mm-hmm. but we definitely want to, you know, partner up and do some some other things for the community, whether it's hoodies for the homeless or you know, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. just just different, you know, avenues of stuff where we can like, you know, just build up the community. Okay, but, so I seen um, with with Sipit. Uh, y'all had a minority remodeling or working on that? Um, what do you mean? So, uh, did you get sip it that 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 area is, is it getting remodeled or did it get? No. So okay. So okay, I see. I see you had put a post. Uh, this this uh, it was a Hispanic guy. He was he looked like he was doing construction or he was doing something. Oh like oh, oh okay yeah yeah so yeah shout out to um to Vic and his and Texas mm. Construction man they definitely. They did a lot of um, great stuff in there, man. They they trans that sort of place. Um, Sip it. What he's talking about is um, a daiquiri lounge mm. or a daiquiri drive-through um, experience. Okay. Um, that we we open. Hopefully, we, well, no, we will. I speak it. I, I like to claim it. <laughs> so we open it um, this week, sometime. You know, look at look out for that date. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, we definitely got um, a minority-owned company. You know, to come in and, and they they transition it from a. A car dealership it was an old car dealership on pat booker so the address is 1717 pat booker um it's totally renovated um like i said we knocked out walls we've brightened up the floors like it's a it's a whole new feel it's a, it's a whole vibe by itself so so will you do started. will you do like a club thing inside like music so, inside what, i wouldn't say not necessarily the club scene it's not that huge for stuff like that but i definitely want to cater to like the ladies that you know they might do a gender reveal or mm-hmm. you know a bachelorette party or maybe they want to celebrate for their birthday or we think about um paint and sip you know something like that you know we definitely want to start you know maybe bookings 
so an a intimate space not mm -hmm. nothing like you know too too crazy because you don't want people to get too drunk on your watch um but we definitely want to keep a, a fair and a, a good friendly you know zone do you have to have a like a liquor license to yes, run that yes yes that's that's definitely key so um so what our thing is we it's it's not a um it's a hybrid it's kind of mm -hmm. like a most places are like like wine based, but ours isn't actually wine. It's it's actually a, a, a Venice neutral liquor, um, which is made from oranges. Hmm. Um, so that kind of places in a category of not necessarily being hard liquor, but not necessarily being wine based either. So we're like in that category, but it's considered like beer and wine. So, so <clears throat> how um how did y'all get the money to get this kicked off per se? Like. Is it, is it, first of all, is it tough as minorities? Is it tough to even get the money, yeah. the grants, the loans, uh, everything else? Um, or was it a, this right here is going to fund this? And then once that's good, then it's going to fund this? Like, how's that? Um, I mean, really, like I said, including winging, you as well. We didn't, I mean, I mean, really saving and um, winging has been a great advocate, like, because it shows, like, you know, five years of us being financial savvy. Because you, you got to think about, you know, a bank. They, they 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 like when you they see those daily deposits mm -hmm. you know so you know we definitely have a track record after being five years mm -hmm. um so we can apply you know fortunate enough to apply for more you know loans or, or and stuff like that lines of credit um but like i said and, and then now i think we said we have an investor um but but still like you know being in that position from the restaurants put us in better you know situations and scenarios to you know to get more okay um, so that is that is that a help with her business well look, luckily for her business i mean you i don't think she it was it's not that much you need yeah to, it really wasn't much to start up my business mm -hmm. and it kind of just grew itself i invested a couple of my personal money and my savings and it just grew from there and it just started and growing it, and to touch back on on like ours like like when we first started like we we didn't just jump in like for kirby we didn't first just jump in and just start you know Luckily, they were they were third 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 gen generation locations. So mm -hmm. these are like already had the pipe in and, and mm -hmm. stuff like that. So we cut a lot of costs that first location as well as university. Um, because when we first started, man, we had the food truck. We was cooking out of my truck, and we had no kitchen. Mm -hmm. We had tables. It was on walkie talkies, like drop twenty piece, drop thirty piece. Had the family in there, cousins, you know, whatever helping. Uh, but like running through the back door, <laughs> you know, from much. the front to the, you know, to the inside. But eventually we had enough money. It would make, it would produce enough money to buy another fryer, then another fryer, another fryer. So, and then the same, we just use the same strategy mm -hmm. at our next location. You know, this location funded a university location and in, in the same, in the same. So <clears throat> uh, Martin Luther King mm -hmm. is coming up. First mm -hmm. off, what does Martin Luther King mean to, mean to you guys? I have a dream. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, I, I definitely, man, I, I definitely um, think, you know, it definitely puts us in a, a perspective of like, you know, businesses, um, you know, because when I look at my business, I don't consider it just, we're black owned, yes, but, you know, we get all races, all walks of life, you know, mm -hmm. and I, I think that's, you know, that's something that Dr. King preached about, you know, mm -hmm. definitely e equality, you know, people come in and they don't see, or they just see good food. They don't mm -hmm. see like, oh, this is a black place. I'm gonna come up. No, no, yeah, that's 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 all well and good, but you don't want to. We don't want to have that stereotype of just you know catering yeah. to our culture. Yeah. We want to have like you know money's green at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. You know you want to yeah. come in there yeah. at the same time. We want to cater and it's, I think the same thing with her business. You mm -hmm. know we don't just market. You know we market all people. You yeah. know, um, so it, it's definitely um, King's way. Yeah, huh? King's way. Yeah. <laughs> yes. um, someone asked. Who who oh, was it? Who is it? Let's get their names. Dream yeah, make people feel. Dream Leadership Academy. Will she franchise her business? Will you franchise your business? Yes. <laughs> yes, I. I'm actually um, like me. I try to. I'm a little bit more organized than what my husband is. He kind of wings it. <laughs> <laughs> that makes Literally. sense. That like, works. It works. He kind of wings it. But honestly, I am. I'm definitely looking to franchise in the future. Um, I'm actually starting, even though I'm not even at my year mark, I'm reaching out to um, individuals that I look up to as mentors mm -hmm. and they're kind of guiding me on the way of what mm -hmm. I can do and how to change this and that. So, yes. So you guys are down to be mentors. Oh yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. Can y'all shout out some of y'all? Um, 
Tanya like, no, and I'm Andre. Myself, my mentor, man, Eddie Chapman, man. He definitely, <laughs> you know, Mr. Chapman, Chapman's chicken, man. I always, man, that man has wisdom, man. I always uh, would, would seek him like any kind of question, man, as far as being in the restaurant industry. So I definitely, you know, he want a big, big influence. So um, what, do y'all have anything special going on for Martin Luther King Day? We're actually going to, um, well, we we're, we're going to have a food truck. It's going to be, we usually do it every year. So we usually have a food truck there. We're going to be out there at Pittman Sullivan Park. Um, food truck. Wing it, you know, I got Dante, uh, he'd be out there. I'm gonna be out there um, running the truck. You might see me in a chicken head on the roof dancing because <laughs> I mean, you know, I'm not that, I'm, I, I haven't got too big why, you know, mm -hmm. I'm gonna still go out there and promote, you know, uh, do what I have to do. You might see me walk around with the chicken head in the smart car or whatever mm -hmm. it is. But at the end of the day, like I said, it's, it's all marketing. It's all, you know, promotion. I, I wanna know, uh, <laughs> what do y'all think about working on these being black owned businesses mm -hmm. working on these holidays i think that it should be a a closed day should that be a thing where we is these... open still that's <laughs> right <laughs> i mean i mean in, i mean I, like i said i i think like holidays mm -hmm. hmm, major I, holidays major holidays of course christmas and so what if y'all are open on those major holidays but y'all closing the black holidays juneteenth martin luther king day you know what i'm saying black holidays I mean, I would say yes, but when when you think about our business, we're not, you know, our business model is not strictly just our culture. So it's mm -hmm. not like, you know, I don't want to shut out other people mm -hmm. just because, you know, I mean, I under, I, I get the principle and we mm -hmm. support all of it, but, you know, I don't want to be, you know, segregated either to the other yeah. people yeah. that might want to come mm -hmm. and patronize because, you know, you might have that person coming from Houston or from Nevada or yeah. whatever, mm -hmm. just because they heard about these great wings, but, oh, they're closed yeah, on close. today. Mm. I'm only here for, you know, whatever it might be, but, you know, I don't, I don't want to ever have to be in that So you, you are not for that idea, or, or heck no. I mean, we're open. Yeah. <laughs> right. I'm, I'm just saying, like, it's, it's this yeah. boy, it's hard to close wing it. it is. Yeah. It oh is. my gosh. It is. It is. I mean, because I hate, I hate, I hate the situation of, like, you know, somebody, oh man, y'all closed today? Or you get that, that notification. I'm like, no. Like, he's open right. seven days a week. I'm right. like, Monday through Friday. I need to regroup. <laughs> I, yeah. So as the business grows, right, and and you may have to go clean in Dallas, you may have to go clean in Nevada, wherever, you know what I mean, as it grows, um, how are y'all going to deal with the long distance relationships? Uh, we honestly haven't even thought about it, but um, our communication is pretty much open and we're pretty much good with our communication level if ever mm -hmm. there were to become an issue. Mm -hmm. um, like we're we wouldn't hesitate to reach out to our marriage counselor because you know if it gets difficult in situations um that's one thing we're big on marriage counseling make sure our marriage is strong and that, that it grows um when he opened up wing it we went to the marriage counselor when mm -hmm. i got pregnant we went to the marriage counselor when we had our other child because it's new things that we're scared of but we're not you know, we're not prepared for it. So he helps us to get our mind right and help us to kind of let us know, like, you're going to get through it. And we just have to kind of um, go with that and kind of, I mean, from this point, we've been good. And so y'all don't believe marriage counseling is just for when things are going wrong. It's to maintain. Correct. And then seeking God first, man. We definitely, you know, see, see God in all that we do. Um, and he definitely guides our, you know, our footsteps and our judgments. Mm -hmm. Do y'all recommend to other people to get the counseling oh, yes. and oh know. yes um like he said his passion he feel he gets excited about helping other entrepreneurs mine is marriage i am so big on marriage um and especially with the generation now like you know um our older individuals they're getting older so mm -hmm. who's going to take their place so i feel like my calling is to step up to the plate and eventually help this next generation get to where we are Okay. Do y'all see also um, possibly mentoring other couples? Yeah, definitely. Yes. Definitely, definitely. My definitely. dream goal is to have a marriage retreat. Be on the lookout. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that sounds dope. <clears throat> so <laughs> he already know. <laughs> so so again, how important is it for you guys to find time for one another? And would, how do you do it? That's like one of the main things. It's hard. It's it's definitely challenging, man. But we, I definitely, you know, we definitely have to have, even if it's one night, a, a little night, you know, or whatever it is, you know, 
definitely having a time like that's what she said she is important to having self-care as, mm-hmm. as, as well as you know care with each other you know spending time whether it's you know a date day which we haven't done in a while but we need to do mm. um so that you know just just little things like that you know small things and i know she likes the the smaller things it's not always the about the materialistic things but you know just kind of like the time yeah um, so and just having a little bit of structure like i know we fell short a lot last year but like our goal this year um get the kids <clears throat> spend um i'll like two hours with the kids before it's time to go to nap and then the last hour is for us before we go to bed and we just pretty much discuss our day and what issues we have and so on so we just keep the communication going how do you guys uh, show appreciation for one another me i'm an action person (laughs) him he's more um words of information so he he likes like you get that for that fortune cookie. No, it's not that fortune cookie. It's I the mean, five love the languages. Five, oh, get it right. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, I think it's like um. You see, now you put me on a spot. I don't know. That. <laughs> <laughs> well, one of them is like words of affirmation. Then there's um, I don't know. It'll come back to me. Okay. <laughs> so. Uh, I think, like I said, it, it's it's good to have them exposed. Like for my son, like he already sweeps. He has a broom. He's two. Everywhere. He, you can't, you, I mean, you go on our Instagram pages. Like he's always, anywhere he goes, he go to McDonald's, he going to grab a broom and you see it in the back. <laughs> mm-hmm. So, you know, just being exposed every time, you know, I, I take my, my my daughter to wing it. She, she's like, oh, wing it, chicken wing, chicken wing. Mm-hmm. You know, so just, just having them exposed to our business, not just, you know, keeping them sheltered. But so, yeah. Um, I want to know, are y'all, do y'all hire felons? Do y'all give people second chances in life? You know, um, I say, I say, people yes. with criminal records. I say, I say yes. Like I said, I, I'm a, I'm a big believer in like people that you know, giving people second chances until you prove me, you know, otherwise. Mm-hmm. But you know, we've we've had like various you know people that's worked for us, you know, from felons to whatever it might be. But but I, I think it's it's definitely you know, an opportunity where you can put somebody in a position where you know that other person might not give them that that chance. Mm-hmm. You know. Why not? You know, I believe in you until you, you know, you show me different. show me different. What about yeah. you? Would you? I definitely agree with that. Um, I am so. Oh my gosh! I'll be trying to send everybody their way, <laughs> trying to give them a <laughs> yeah. Me, on the other hand, my business is a little bit different, but due to the fact that you are an individual's mm-hmm. home, so you know you have to kind of watch what type of background. But I do. I am so big on giving people second chances because you, you know, they. Some people just walk on different paths and they mm-hmm. want to get it right. So why not? We're constantly giving each other, you know, getting second chances. So that's dope. Nicole Gordon said she loves you. Hey, boo. <laughs> and if y'all are ever in Houston, man, hit up, you know, her miracles cleaning. Yes. You know, miracles just that clean. Ding. <laughs> <laughs> so you know about that. <laughs> right. yeah, any kind, yeah. We Who have was? a lot. San Antonio, hairstylist, um, um, it's Tiffany. Uh, if you're interested, that's her. Uh, makeup. Uh, oh my gosh, I should have had a list of people because I'm country boy. Alls and ends. Dante, I'm get handyman. <laughs> get the lights. Anything, you need hair, whatever. makeup. Yeah. Like yes. So why why are things why are things seem to be uh, more expensive at independent owned co- companies? Why they, they why okay what was so it? yeah why why is the products or why whatever product, why is it okay. why is it more, more expensive? expensive? Um, well, independent I mean, own real, realis- realistically, you got to think about it. You know, we can comp- we're competing against these big conglomerates. These mm-hmm. you know these like the wing stops of the world. You know, so they can you know can afford to give like a, a deal that might be like you know six ninety or five dollars mm-hmm. or whatever five dollar foot long or whatever it might be. But you got to realize you know we're competing against multi-million dollar companies and we're mm-hmm. like a local small business so when people come in like oh y'all prices are are well at the same time so they we, we have overhead you know we might we're working harder and we only have one location and we you know we're still figuring it out and a lot of people don't realize that you know oh you know it might take a little longer or, or we paying you know we might be paying a little more than that you know that that wing stop you know that might be giving that person mm-hmm. 40 hours a week at seven dollars and fifty cents you know what i'm saying so at the same time, it's like that. That's that. That's why. 
you mm-hmm. know, if you see, you know, but support those businesses. Don't, yeah, yeah. don't, don't come in and, and expect, you know, uh, a discount mm-hmm. because we are minority owned business. How often do you hear that a day? Man, too, too many people, man, too many, too many times. But I mean, all I like to say is like, you know, treat it like you, you can't go to these other corporations and, mm-hmm. and expect that you're uh, trying to negotiate <laughs> And you're gonna pay. You're gonna pay that price. You know, either you want, you it, want or you it or you don't. I mean, and, and our, our community man definitely gotta, you know, realize that you go, you come into a, a business man, they're 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 working for their family. You know, it's that price because they need it to be that price. Mm-hmm. It's not chicken because it might be that that pay. chicken might be. You know, we, we might be paying a hundred dollars for that case of chicken compared to Wingstop paying fifty dollars. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, but people don't see that the back end of it. So everything you know is definitely justified for a reason. What you think? They can get a hook up. <laughs> yeah, that, you gotta twist it. Right. I mean that um people you like I said, they know me, they think you know they can get special privileges because they might have liked my post or something. Mm-hmm. Like I know Daryl, you know, I've I've had situations <laughs> where I'm in together. there, <laughs> I'm in there and I, they were like, Oh, I know, I know the owner. And I'm like sitting right, and then it was like, Well, he's right here. They're like, Oh, hey. <laughs> like, <laughs> like they never met me before, but <laughs> but through my name out there, like I'm like, you ain't no <laughs> it was it was definitely awkward because I was, they was like, yeah, I talked to the owner and all this stuff like that, and I come from the back, and they like, oh, no, nah, I didn't talk to him. Like, you know, it's like mm-hmm. people, so yeah, like, like <laughs> right, like well, I don't know, but, but people make stuff up, man. It's like, and then they they post reviews instead of coming, you know, a big big pet peeve, you know, is, is people like I said, you know, well, being a small business, you know, people like to look at reviews and stuff like that. Well, you know, if if something is wrong, you know, we're quick to try to make it right. You know, don't just come in and post, oh, this is the best wings, the worst wings I ever had. But did you try to get a, did you talk to somebody for them Mm -hmm. to try to fix it? Or did Mm -hmm. you just go to social media to blast that small company that, you know, that lives off of those reviews Mm -hmm. that, you know what I'm saying, that that could hurt their business? So you, I mean, just stuff like that. So when it comes to marketing, first of all, how important is marketing for you guys? Oh, it's big. Huge. It's, it's, It's big in my house, man. Like I said, I'm a marketing major, so. It, every I'm, I think I live for marketing. Everything is, you know, and I tell people a lot. Um, I'm, I'm starting a YouTube page coming soon, so okay. you know, when I get that some subscribe. Awesome. Right, yeah. Joseph, my my boy, man, he definitely um gets you right. Um, but at the same time, like, uh, what was I saying? We're talking about marketing, marketing, <laughs> marketing, and then it's, it's it's about brand identity, man. At the mm-hmm. end of the day, if you if you don't compete with these big brands, mm-hmm. then you kind of like fossil yourself because yeah. like, man, it's technology is so, you know evolving it is. you know the phone if you're not on the phone and you're mm-hmm. kind of and then you're that 20 year old restaurant mm-hmm. it's kind of like you, you know up. that don't you got to keep up with the times right so what is what do y'all think is the best uh promoting tools the best form of promoting um i mean grassroots man we so word of mouth word of mouth is is so powerful um like i took pride in like like even like you know going back you know being in a fraternity like we used to go out and they have pass out flyers mm-hmm. and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Like going back to do that, you know, going back to our menus. Like I always tell them, hey man, let's fly her to the block. Let's mm-hmm. let's hit these small businesses. Let's drop off, you know, because you 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 appreciate something more. Somebody come, hey, come check the spot out. Mm-hmm. That face, and face. then and then they see your face. And they like, okay, you passionate yeah. about it instead of somebody, you know, you just hey, like like my post or mm-hmm. you know stuff like that. So I, I definitely think grassroots marketing is, is number one. Guerrilla marketing is mm-hmm. yeah, is definitely. How do y'all feel about influencer marketing? Um, I. I mean, I mean you might be good it, at that. It's, man. It's, it's, I would say like it depends on the, the market you're in compared mm-hmm. to like, you know, a Houston, you know, it, you might be good because you have an influencer that might know Drake and he come to your restaurant or somebody because a tweet, you know, shout out to the big restaurants like the turkey leg cuts and stuff like that. I mm. mean, um, Houston, but I hear, you know, it's a little, a little harder, you know, because that the influencers might not necessarily, you know, come flock, you know, it's not a lot of people coming to San Antonio like that. So uh, you gotta, you know, I mean, I, it's a, it's a, I think it's a, it's a love hate thing, you know. Mm-hmm. It's, it's, it's really about, you know. Sometimes it is about who you know, um, rather than what you know. Um, so I mean, I, I think, like I said, it's, it's, it's pros and cons. So uh, you said you was a Kappa. Yes, sir. And you pledged at TSU, I imagine. Yes, sir. Spring of eight. Spring of oh eight. Trey Club. So what's your Beto thoughts Salon. on Bootsy? <laughs> man, so man, <laughs> man. I mean, tell me, I want to know your true feelings so, on Bootsy because you went through man, it for that. I, I did, but so it, what's I your? Mean, I, just like my line brothers, man. We we talked and we laughed about it. We mm-hmm. was like, man, at the end of the day, we 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 grown, man. It's if the man wanna wear a sweat, you wanna wear a sweat. I, I understand mm-hmm. where it is, but mm-hmm. I mean, I, 
I, don't, I got other stuff going on to be worrying about something, you know, that's... But how did it make you feel when you first seen it? I mean... Were you proud or were I you like, man, no. I man. wasn't... It, I mean, honestly, it was like, it was funny to me because it's like, because I already know Boosty. it's boost. Like, it's like, who, what you going to do? You going you gonna to tell him to take it off? <laughs> right. Like, this man done, done fought cancer. He done beat uh, murder charges. Like, mm-hmm. you know, so I'm like, come on now. He, you can't, who you going to tell a, definitely a capa man coming in, hey, take that sweater off. You know, who, who, who I'm, surpri- I'm, I'm, I'm surprised. I'm surprised. I wouldn't go tell him nothing. That. Yeah, I'm, I'm like, I would have said, "Hey, yeah. <laughs> I might would have said, noob, noob, yo." Yeah. I mean, like I said, I, I think, I think he definitely switched it. I think he definitely, you know, he saw the bigger, you know, the backlash, you know. But he, uh, you know, obviously he hit a nerve for some people, you know, because I know some die hard. Like, hey, you better take that off. Oh, I mean, dude. I mean, you got to think about it. it's kind of like you know you going in, you a blood or you a crypt, oh, yeah. you know, and you win, you know, hold up, hold up, hold up, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't know, you know, I don't know. You said tripping, like, so I, I guess it's, it's the same kind of feeling, I guess mm-hmm. you would say. But I mean, at the end of the day, like, I, I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm past that mm-hmm. aspect of you know past that collegiate, you know, <laughs> mindset. But it mm-hmm. took me like you know. If you're in college, you're a neo, that's your first, you know, you gonna hey, 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 you know, but after you grow up a certain time, it's like, hey, you you look at stuff, you're like, oh, that's cute. You he know, looked but, at me when we read it up uh, 6K. Hmm. Let me get my group, my boys. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, I mean, I said, oh, you, oh, you give it how much? Oh, okay, shoot, I can, I can get back in now. Yeah. Like, hey. <laughs> my shirt is still working, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, so yeah. <laughs> That's man, I, I that I feel like that man has grown. I mean, he's a that he might as well be an honorary member. You know, they have honorary. You know, he might as well. At the end, of, at the end of the day, it's like publicity. You know, at the same time, I'm pretty sure it's boosted his imaging, his his likability. I'm pretty sure that you know the Capitals obviously got you know spotlighted too. So I'm pretty sure it's a win win for for both. At the end of the day. No, I'm not. Okay. Um, have you connected with any of the practice stuff down here? Yeah. So, um, I haven't got as active as I want to be. I told myself, like, once I get like everything's on autopilot, I definitely want to get, um, definitely want to sit down with the bros and stuff like that out here. I've done a, a couple of events for them. Like I said, I know the pole mark. I'm at the pole mark, and and like I said, it's 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 definitely um options out there. Um, so I definitely support them and, you know, they've, I've done events for, for, I mean, not just them, you know, the, the Q's, other, other organizations as well. So it's like, you know, like it's support at the end of the day. Is it a big fraternity life here in San Antonio or? Mm, not so, like I said, when compared to Houston, um, man, I mean, it's, it's a different animal. Like I said, I, I played when I was in, I played my freshman year in college. So, I mean, I was my. Why they didn't let you play then, bro? <laughs> so, uh, 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 grace wasn't right so so my, luckily my grace is right so i mean shout out to uh to tree man lynn around tree from san antonio man he put me on man uh but yeah man when um, he is determined about something he know how to get it yeah mm. basically 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 i got a question as far as y'all being a what is your favorite characteristic about him? Uh, I would say for him, his um, his drive, like our family is his motivation. So like literally, he like he says all the time, I do this for our last name, not our first name. Hmm. Same question, sir. Um, I, <laughs> I, I love how she like cares for others. She has a big heart, you know, so she that's definitely, you know, um, I love that about her it could be like i said sometimes it could, it could be a weakness mm-hmm. you know because some people could talk sometimes people could take advantage take of that advantage, yeah um but i definitely that's that's what you know do you kind of swoop in and save her when people try to take advantage of her or is she very assertive in that way herself i know how to discern what's right and what's wrong right so if i feel like it's not right then i'm like okay yeah you mm-hmm. just, i see yeah, it yeah, i see kind of handle her yeah. own on mm-hmm. that on that thing like i'm I'm, I'm, you know, I'm committed to this. Um, somewhat, yeah, yeah. I would say yeah, yes, sometimes. yes, yes. Sometimes you have to be that mediator, like you know, if something, 
you know, even if I feel she's wrong in, in some sense, you know, sometimes you know, I'll go that. pray about it. I'm like, that's right. <laughs> so what's what's y'all f- uh, feelings on the saying, I'm blind. I'm not blind. I'm married, not blind. Other words, what I'm trying to say. What do y'all think about that saying? I'm married, not blind. So other words, right. oh, oh, man, when, when you see that thing pass by, you like, no, <laughs> no, I mean, you're like I said, I mean, you could be, like I said, it's, you definitely got to respect the relationship. Mm-hmm. It's still a marriage. And they, of course, we have eyes. I'm pretty sure, you know, she yeah. see that uh, when Michael B. Jordan or somebody yeah. like, oh, yeah. you know, same thing. You see that, you know, with us guys, see stuff, you know, like, okay, you know, I see you. But, uh. Yeah, <laughs> could could you could you ever could you ever you see something you like like look, man, look at that oh, man, oh, you I don't punched. know like I want her to be more comfortable like that but mm-hmm. I know she probably like what you doing like <laughs> I would not do that so I, I would like, not like, do that like, man, she got a big old booty look I'm gonna look you with you oh, okay. there you go you heard it you heard it right there all right all right he gonna be gonna Facetime me look why I got ice on my eye <laughs> no, we both looking. <laughs> That's too funny. <laughs> yeah. Right. Okay. So, y'all ever heard the, the saying, uh, men cheat for ego, women cheat for emo, right? For what? Emo. emo oh, emotion. okay. I got you. I got you. So, I, I'd rather use the word emotions. Emotions. <laughs> you know what I mean? Emo. So, what is your substitute for that ego? For that ego drive? When, when the guy said, like I said, men do this for ego, meaning the, 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 you know how you tell your homeboy, oh man, yeah, I did that. You know, yeah, anyway, so being being married now, what did you <laughs> how did you substitute it? Substitute it with what? I think this this being busy, man. Definitely, you know, mm-hmm. putting putting, you know, my stuff in that to work, making sure, you know, my family, you know, thinking about my family before anything. Definitely. Thinking about, you know, making sure they're okay. Mm-hmm. Making sure, you know, when I when I put it in that perspective, you know, I, I want to make sure I take care of them and I don't, I don't want to risk anything, you know, that'll, you know, hurt them. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Aspect. So you keep yourself busy pretty much, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I heard that. No, 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 it's a little bit different for you. Question is, what are you going to do when, it's, if, when, when and if a time comes where you don't feel emotionally there? What, what are you going to do in that moment? Oh, ooh, that's a good question. Uh, I, we've, our relationship has grown so much, I would probably sit down and talk with talk him. Like, him. whatever's mm-hmm. on my mind, I would pretty much let him know like hey I ain't feeling this right mm-hmm. now like you need to figure out how to get me back <laughs> <laughs> like you need to put in some work so y- y'all said you said y'all said the communication is key what's some um, I need to take notes give me give me my topics of what I need to hit in my relationship talk with my spouse mm, so emotions for sure so mm-hmm. I'm very emotional mm-hmm. and I I tend to just go off without mm-hmm. thinking so i've gotten i would even lock doors on this boy seriously <laughs> it was bad so i would have to actually calm down mm-hmm. regroup and mm-hmm. then go out and communicate mm-hmm. um also what was our other issues with i don't i think it was pretty much that my emotions because i would never think things through i have to now i sit and i think about long term like mm-hmm. okay let's how would this affect us in the long run? Like, mm-hmm. how can we resolve this? Okay, if we can't resolve this, okay, what's the solution? How can we fix this right now type thing? So that's mm-hmm. kind of tends to what help us out the most and our past to even stirred us in that, rec- in that direction. Like when he opened up Sip It, I, I didn't expect him to open it up so soon. I was mm-hmm. like, wait. And so I was really upset about it. And so- but, well, why? What was it about it that- I, I think it was so soon. Mm-hmm. Like, well, what's wrong with soon? Soon, because I we just had we had Winget, mm-hmm. where we have two locations with Winget. We're in the process of opening up another Winget, and then I have Clean It, and so I'm like, wait, wait, mm-hmm. wait, wait. Is it a little overwhelming? Maybe? Overwhelming, yes, but in a sense, we can still handle it. But you know, like I'm more of like, wait, let's think things mm-hmm. through, and he's like, let's just wing it, whatever happens, and you know, things will it'll work itself mm-hmm. out. So, I like this balance. I like this <laughs> balance, yin and yang. <laughs> so at that point, okay, well, it's already done. We mm-hmm. already sip it is up and running. Mm-hmm. What's the solution? Oh, you hit with the same thing you did your mama. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> That's funny. Pretty 
pretty much. So what's the solution? Okay, mm-hmm. let's just go for it, run with it. We just don't have to figure out what's next mm-hmm. type thing. Mm-hmm. So don't even get stuck on the situation. Just figure out a solution because apparently we can't solve it. Mm. So um, quite, well, matter of fact, what, do, what topics do you make sure you hit when you're having when you're going to have that conversation with her? Obviously, um, the emotions, of yeah, course. Yeah, my emotions, making sure we, we listen to each other mm-hmm. um, and see like what the actual, what is the actual issue, mm-hmm. you know? Um, um, and like I said, really like just opening up, being more, Honest. Give it being honest and allowing us to breathe. Like, mm-hmm. like I said, sometimes you know you can be mad at your spouse, man. You know, it's time. Like, I just like let me let me just give it a few minutes. Let me just is that important? Is that, it, I think it's important. Uh, yeah, it, mm-hmm. it definitely is. Definitely, just you know, That's give you a time. Like, you know, because she just locked the doors. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she did. I feel like I felt the type of way. Like, no more locked me. doors. Right, right. <laughs> but but I, I mean, so, but then I kind of realized too that might have been like a, a healing thing with like you know let me vent let me. Let me calm down. Let me calm mm-hmm. down and think about the situation mm-hmm. and then regroup. And then, okay, now let's talk. And, and so I think, you know, those those steps are definitely you know, key. How do y'all feel about going to bed angry? We, we've been going, we've gone to bang angry before. Like, it's not, I don't think it's a, it's not, it's definitely not good for, on my end. <laughs> <laughs> like, I want to go to bed angry. You know, she might go and to bed angry. And I wake up like it's no right, issue. Right, right. still know, mad. See, I'm the type of person, <laughs> really? I, I harbor stuff. And I'd yeah. be like, man, I'm still oh, mad about oh. yesterday. I'm but, like, oh boy, I'm over that. Right. I'm like, <laughs> but you know, so, yeah. I definitely, you know, think, you know, yeah, we should, I don't know. Do y'all uh, believe that you should tell your spouse everything? In at a certain extent, because yeah. I, I like you can't tell you about like everything in this. I think it's good to be transparent, but you know, I know how she, you know, sometimes you know, I know her her emotional side. You know, you mm-hmm. don't want to give some, so you can't be like, Babe, I, yeah. babe, I seen the biggest booty today, <laughs> it was crazy. That's you can't, little though. First of all, you know, I'm an ass man. What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm just saying, yeah, I don't talk to him about everything, um, only because I know like it his mind be all over the place. Mm-hmm. Like I could talk to him and he probably won't even hear it. So I'm not about to waste my breath with it. So I just go to my friend Nicole and yeah. Nicole hear all my problems and you know, we just go from there. So I just save myself some time in an argument mm-hmm. <laughs> and go from there. So question, I'm going to ask you this question. Is it best to, and it actually it's for both of y'all, but I want to get his answer first. Is it, is it best to ask permission or tell your partner um i'm going out with the boys can i go out with the boys um i think i think it's definitely good that you you know you definitely um uh, mention it uh because you, you don't want to put yourself in a position where you stuck like you like maybe like you telling your wife like i'm about to go out <laughs> you know you <laughs> definitely want to you know <laughs> hey babe do you, you mind me going out i'm going out you know stuff like that so mm-hmm. i definitely want to you know kind of ask and it's not asking a sense but respect her, you know, what do you call opinion. that? What do you, you call know, that? Is that is that an in between? It's kind of like in between, between like you're you know, kind like of you're asking, gonna, but kind of telling. I, now I, I would see like like depend on like how she, like it's been times like you know I asked for something like to go somewhere and she like she don't want me to go mm-hmm. and I feel it and like I and I mm-hmm. I can't I, I didn't go you know but if it's time like I know I need to go I need to go I'm, mm-hmm. I'm going. <laughs> nah, it, it not, not in that tone. Not in that tone, but you know, but yeah. All right, same quick same question. Uh, I don't go nowhere, but for him, um, he does act. Um, mm-hmm. Last night he went out. He didn't act, but I was like, whatever. He gonna be <laughs> tired in the morning, not me. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta ask yourself, bed or the couch? <laughs> Which one is it? <laughs> any any uh, any any questions um, from? Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. You guys, is there anything you Y'all guys? Have any questions for him? Mm. No? no. So, is there something that you guys want to talk about that we may have missed? Anything else y'all want to plug? Plug your business again. And social medias, too. Oh, I have, um, you can find me on Instagram and Facebook at Clean It 210. Um, we got Wing It 210 um, on Instagram, Facebook. Also, follow Sip It Dacris to Go. On, mm-hmm. on IG, uh, as well as Facebook. Um, follow at Mr. Smith Consulting um, on Instagram. That page is coming along. Um, look out for that YouTube. And yeah. What's going on? So, so this month, 
What's going to set week. you apart? What's going to set you apart? We say this week, um, we're going to plan like a, uh, probably like a, a soft open. Okay. Um, it might be invite only, but we, we, we'll gauge it. Like I said, if people come up, we're going to serve you because yeah. you're ready to open. We need to open. Mm. What's, what's going to set you apart from the Daiquiri Lounge? The on what? 78. Oh, the Daiquiri Lounge. Um, well, I put just in, in general, you know, at the same time, any business that we open, we, we want to look at it as something that we can franchise, that we mm-hmm. can market other places, not just in our, you know, in our city. What, so that's definitely important, you know, creating a brand. Uh, so when I look at, you know, the other people, like, you know, I, I kind of compare it to like, you know, are they marketable? Is it brand, you know, because I want to create a brand that like like the Golden Arches. Hmm. And if it's not like the Golden Arches, <laughs> then, you know, it might be like McDowell's, you know. <laughs> <laughs> M- McDowell's had one location. Ah. <laughs> that's funny. That so. is hilarious. Yeah. And y'all don't know where that come from. Watch from the <laughs> Yeah, they're right. Come on, guys. You guys got to know. <laughs> um, so have you guys ever heard of the Zulus? Yeah. Yeah. So uh, they actually, uh, you know, they run Taste New Orleans. Mm-hmm. Um, and they actually have this big old screen that they have at Taste New Orleans. It's like kind of like what you see at the at, at a at a game. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. The big, big old LED screens, you know, and they uh, actually do uh, advertising. This is for y'all to know and any other businesses out there that may be watching. Um, they actually, for $500, they actually, for three days straight, you know, you know thousands of people come through the Taste mm-hmm. of New Orleans. Mm-hmm. They actually will put your business on that board. Of course, it will rotate, but them three days, you, you can imagine how many people are actually looking at mm-hmm. your business, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Maybe your commercial or whatever it is that you, oh, that. you wanted to do, but yeah. Yes, yeah, so, I mean, if it's something that you want to look into, y'all tell your friends about it. They can inbox me. Y'all can also uh, look into being one of their vendors for next year. Yeah, we, we've done the Taste New Orleans. So we did that probably. Because like, that's what I've seen y'all there before. Year, year three, I think we did that. It was a good How experience. Was um, It's definitely tiring. Yeah. yeah. I, definitely, man. What was tiring about it? Like, two, man. like, it was, man, it event, was late. Events like that, man, I, I definitely like staying in my truck. Mm-hmm. Um, because you know it's like you have everything. Because when you do like events like booths, you got to pull out the fryer, yeah. you got to get mm-hmm. cold, you basically got to build your location, mm-hmm. all there, all and you got to break all down day. your location. Yeah. So mm-hmm. you know you got to take that in consideration. I mean, I salute to all the people that's been doing it for years. But how was it dealing with all those people when you at that moment when you were doing it? Man, I mean, it was a good experience, but at the same time, it was a, a definitely a learning experience. Cause yeah, it's like you have to learn on the fly, and it's when it's when it's slow, it's slow. But when it's busy, man, it's <laughs> you know. Fast food like, times ten. Um, I, I would just say you know consistency, uh, making sure you know quality over everything. You don't mm-hmm. definitely want to just sell anything just to make a quick buck. You mm-hmm. definitely make sure you know whatever you it's get. fully cooked and everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, that's a, right. that's a fast. It is a yeah, fast. Sometimes process. you you just you you skipping the uh, you know oh let me just get this person mm-hmm. just get them out the way. But you you definitely want to make sure you know you have that 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 quality product coming out. Okay. Okay. You sure there's nothing else that you guys want to cover? I think we pretty much covered everything. I know. I mean, I was, I was you trying. I hate this part. I hate you guys. It was fun. Yes, I'm glad yeah. you guys had. Did you guys have fun? <laughs> you had fun. Yeah, yes. definitely, definitely, yes. definitely, definitely. You know, I, I get to go out tonight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still covering. <laughs> right. I mean, everywhere we went today, he's trying to take a nap. That's what you get. You know you old. You know, I do have one more question because I'm an unorganized person. You said you were the organized one, right? <laughs> How do y'all keep up with the bills, the liquor license, like all these things? I'm pretty sure it's probably you. I don't know. <laughs> well, with him, he has a partner that handles mm-hmm. this. Like, Cause so, he is okay. Well, well, what do y'all? What are, what are some things that you use? If y'all, you don't mind saying what he uses. However, because I want to know how to better organize. Um, uh, we definitely like in the business. We use like QuickBooks. Mm-hmm. Quick definitely books. helps. What is that? Books, like is that online? Balancing, so? Like the taxes, oh. and, uh, mileage, um, receipts, anything. mileage, and stuff like that. Anything you know. So it definitely helps. You know, break down payroll and, and stuff like that for us. Um, so yeah, I think that's a big, big, big thing. Me, I'm old school. I have to write things down. Mm-hmm. So I have sticky notes on my desk. Mm. I got things taped down and it and things in my phone to kind of help me remind myself, like, you know, I have this going on. Mm-hmm. But, yeah. Okay. Are you also that person that has, like, 50 million journals? Anywhere? I don't, but I keep mine. Um, I keep my black journal in my book, in my backpack at all times. So And I, I kind of keep it for my 
kids too in the future so they can look back on different notes that I have. So I make sure I tried everything now. I mean, you guys are taking over San Antonio with all these, you know what I'm saying? I love it though. You know what I'm saying? I I, I love it. I and want I learn from him. I want y'all to take over everything, everything <laughs> it, <that>. everything. <laughs> Walmart it. Okay. That's what, <laughs> that's what we want. All right, you guys, it's radio. Oh, oh. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. You know, my bad. My bad. I want to shout out to Mr. Randall Tripp with Madhouse Customs. Also, I want to give a shout out to Pass That. You can catch them on Facebook. Pass That on, on Facebook. Also, Pass That Apparel oh, 2 on Instagram. And they're also located at 2406 East Houston. Look, go see these guys. Oh, this is Randall's shirt. My fat guys, look, check me out. Check me out. Ooh, ooh, you cute. Ooh, check me back. Oh, I don't know if you can see the back. They can. They can. See them They're elbows. Right see them elbows. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, this is Radioactive, y'all. Peace. Get <laughs> in. Okay, look, sometimes it's going to be.